I'm sat on the A66, um, not moving. Now, this uh, this weekend, I'm doing a wild camp uh, on Friday night with a friend of mine called Peter. Now, Peter's coming up from Yorkshire, land of the gods, uh, same as me, and he, I've, you know, I've tried to get in contact with him to say just avoid, just avoid this road. So. <laughs> Yeah, travelling to, to the Lake District. A bit rubbish. You see, his, his son, Corey, was supposed to be coming. Now, Peter and Corey, I've only known them for five, six months, something like that. And they've recently shown interest in wild camping, and they've geared up for it, so they've said. So this weekend was going to be a case of, you know, get out in the field and see what they can improve on and uh, what they don't know and and what have you. So Corey is, he said he's not coming for one reason or another. Um, he's, uh, he's just sort of leaving school age. So, you know, spending time with your old man versus, uh, you know, doing what teenagers that age are probably doing. It's, uh, it, it's probably not as fun as, uh, you know, going up a, a hill or vice versa. So now Peter's worried that he can't fit all of his stuff in just the one bag. I offered to take a bigger rucksack and carry some of his kit, but he said, no, 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 I'll be fine, I'll be fine. So it's going to be interesting to see the size of this rucksack when I actually uh, get to meet him at some point when I get to Penrith, and when he gets to Penrith for that matter, because I'm fairly sure it's going to be a good couple of hours after I've got there. And um, yeah, it looks dry. It looks dry, and they've they've forecast all week that it's going to be wet. Uh, cut to me, absolutely soaking wet. Yeah, exactly. Be a good laugh. So yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully, rubbish. The traffic moved just enough for me to shoot off, and now I'm somewhere in County Durham, and uh, basically in a massive military. Uh, well, I say I'm in a military ground. There's military ground left and right. Beautiful. Definitely worth another look when I'm not trying to. Uh, arrange a meet with Peter. Well, it turns out Peter, I thought I'd be there before him, and he's already there, and he's going to make his way down to uh, Glen Ridding, and I'm going to catch up with him at that point. It turns out he still hasn't packed his rucksack, so time will tell exactly how good that's going to look. And um, yeah, I'm just going to take this all in. It's lovely. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to be coming back up here and uh, look into it a bit more. Um, make sure I'm not sleeping on top of minefields and what have you, because that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Um, I know I look like a, a, a ghostly presence with all this white light behind me, but the best I can do. Anyway, uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, so the start, got a post office. Can you see it? Uh, a hotel. Do, 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 do. Hotel. So that means that just down this road is going to be that junction there, which is going to take us over that way. Um, now it says that there is a quarry disused, which I'm gathering is that. So that's the start of the route. Now, what I've got to do is wait for my First time wild camper, Peter. Now he's got a bag full of tricks that he's never used before and never tried to put up on a mountain. So um, he's, he's just sorted some kit out, taken some bits out um, to make it a little bit lighter. So let's get on the uh, on the path and start going, going walking. And there you go. That's a camping water pack, Pete. That's not good. <laughs> We've, we've been like climbing up the hill probably 10 minutes and I've got Steve juices flowing. Pete's wearing a coat. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, redders. Well, the, it showered a bit, didn't it, in pub? I noticed some people come in. Yeah. 
uh, with uh, a bit of rain on them. Um, we were just in there for social purposes. Uh, but we've got a, a way to go yet. Onwards and upwards. Uh, we get to the top. Uh, there's a few different junctions. So we're going to have to... I think we're going to set a bearing, aren't we, mate? Um, so we know we're pointing in towards Angletown. And then we'll follow that bearing. Or at least look at where that's going and see which path goes that way. But if you look in the distance over here, that is Buttermere. So when uh, Lisa and Mark and I and my rambler friends that rambled straight past where we were supposed to meet them, that's where we were, basically. Um, there's the two lakes in the background. So high style and everything is up here. So when we get a bit further up, we might be able to see that. And then look at what the sun's doing back there. Horrible, isn't it? See that? Where's that button there over there? Yeah, button here. Yeah. So there's two lakes side by side. Then there's Kirkston Pass going up. Oh. Yeah. Sy is it Sykes? Sykes Farm. Yeah, that's a good campsite apart from it's very rocky. So you need a, a jackhammer to get your pegs in. I just said to Pete, you know, I've just turned around and just noticed all what I'm surrounded by. Just wait for, yeah, it's, it is. Well, then we haven't seen anybody else up here, have we? Yeah. So where we are at the moment, we're following this path up, and then we're going to get to Angletown Crags, hopefully. <laughs> if not, we're going to have another look at the uh, the route. I mean, even though the sun's gone and it's not cold, is it? We're still sort of, <laughs> we're still, yeah, we're still breathing heavy and uh, all the rest of it. Right, we've just stumbled across this valley. Try and get it in. Beautiful. So let's have seen last of the sun. You can just see it escaping over in the background there. Uh, couldn't tell you which ridge that is, it might even be into the Pennines. So we're sort of looking northeast here, up that way. I don't know if you can see it or not, it's beautiful. Confession time. The person who's holding the map not me. <laughs> might have created a little micro adventure. Um, yeah, it's it's not dark. We're absolutely fine. I feel again that just over where is it? I think that that is uh, Angletown Crags. So when we get there on this side of it, should be the water. So let's see if it's there. Get him the boat. Totally admitted defeat, uh, so we've basically stopped wherever the hell we are. I was looking on the map, I see, you know, to my left here, there's some rocky sort of uh, features. I'm looking on the map and I'm like, oh, there's rocky features, there's the tarn. We went right the way around it and, um, yeah, we're totally disorientated. But I can still see where the car is, um, so it's not like we're completely lost. It's dry, touch wood. Now I've said it, it's going to absolutely throw it down. And um, we've got our tents up, so you'll get a, a better idea in the morning. Um, so we're just, we're just going to settle down for the night. No harm done. Um, we'll, we'll find it in the morning. Wet, we're going home. Uh, we've learned a lot, 
I've learned a lot. The Terranova definitely is packed away, it needs extra guy lines on it, and um, at least four extra ones putting on, so I'm going to look into doing that. Uh, there's a sort of a centre ridge uh, cover, and that has guy lines on it, but I didn't find it down, purely because I didn't have any pegs. Second time I've put it up, I've learned from it, so I'm going to go back and work on that. Peter was quite alright with his, uh, with, with, his, yeah, with his tent, but somehow we don't know what's happened, whether the mountain pictures have come, but he can't get it back in his bag, you see. He's going to put it on the outside, whereas it was inside yesterday, so we're a bit baffled by that. Um, oh, we're going to get down, we're going to go and get a nice breakfast, because um, we're both hungry and wet and miserable. So we'll try, we're going to give this another go, aren't we, mate? Yeah? Come out and have a play. Nobody's got hurt, so uh, could be worse. Mind you, we haven't got down the hill yet, so we're saying that too early. Glen Ridden alive. A little bit soggy. Two things that I think I've brought away from this is uh, when I started to do the navigation and I took the map off Pete, um, I was full of confidence, but I'd not done, I'd not done any research, and just kind of thought I knew where I was going and we didn't end up getting to the destination which is my fault and I'll put my hand up to that and the second one is I need to do a bit of work on that tent put some extra guys on it um, a few more pegs and then that's that and I've, I keep bringing out this cooker we could have done tea last night and we could have done breakfast but we've ate out for supper and we've, we're going to go to the uh, the Fairlight guest house for breakfast now but we've enjoyed it haven't we mate had a good day, had a good night yeah and as we were coming down, we saw lots of uh, lots of people going up. Quite a few foreign people as well. We saw some Australasians. Saw them pub last night. Yeah, they were in the pub as well, weren't they? <laughs> we think there were some Greek people as well. I think they were like Mario, Mario and by Mario, you mean Italian? Yeah. <laughs> right. We're going to go get something to eat.